And let's also go on to our next showcase uh, because we move on from climate action in language education into climate action across international schools and partnerships. And to help take us through this, we're joined by Neil Williams. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, yeah from the British Council for Education and Society team. Uh, and, and Neil, can you take us through how, um, you know, your team works with schools in the UK and, and overseas as well? Absolutely, yeah. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here. I'm Neil Williams, Deputy Programme Manager in the British Council Schools team. Over the next 15 minutes, along with the help of some of our schools and young people, I'm going to provide an overview of the British Council's work in schools and specifically our contribution to the climate connection. Through a cultural relations approach, British Council's work in schools aims to build lasting international ties by supporting the UK to learn and benefit from connections with school systems around the world, and for the world to benefit from UK educational expertise. Our school's work is designed to secure long-term positive relationships for the UK uh, by improving education provision through a strategic, efficient and tightly defined approach. Our work on climate connection provides an excellent example of our strategy in action. The work is ongoing, but in 2021, in the run-up to COP26, we engaged over 6,000 schools, 18,000 teachers and approximately 3 million young people and students in over 80 countries on climate change and sustainability projects. Examples of activities include global education exchange webinars for policymakers and teachers to share best practice on climate themes such as climate change in girls' education, climate change in language learning, and how schools can go carbon neutral. We also developed an online training course for teachers on learning for a sustainable future classroom resources and education packs on themes such as zero waste, life below water, affordable clean energy, as well as student competitions and challenges to promote climate change and sustainability learning. And indeed, we heard about one of those competitions and watched the video of the highlights um, just a second ago with Colm, and that was an absolutely fantastic um, competition. In addition to those fantastic activities, We've also focused all British Council international school partnerships on climate change themes. Delivered through connecting classrooms through global learning, international school partnerships link schools in the UK with partner schools around the world to collaborate directly on joint projects. At the British Council, we believe passionately that direct communication and collaboration between teachers, and young people in different countries and different parts of the world, part of what we call our cultural relations approach is the best way for young people to share and learn about the realities of climate change and related global issues. Ipsos Mori, the global consultancy, are currently in the final stages of completing an evaluation of British Council schools work and the emerging, the emerging findings provide significant evidence that school partnerships are, and I quote, enriching and immersive, highly impactful and life-changing for some. The evaluation also confirms that teachers and students collaborating and sharing learning through direct communication with their peers in other countries is an incredibly powerful way to raise knowledge and awareness on key program themes such as climate change and the global goals. To find out more about how British Council international school partnerships work and are being used to explore climate change and sustainability, I'm now going to hand you over to the students from a partnership between Uskol Clwedog in Wrexham, Wales, and Gobury Second, uh, Gobury Second Public School and Ras Beirut School in Lebanon. So Uskol Clwedog, over to you. Working with our partner schools in Beirut for the last 12 months has been both eye-opening and rewarding. At the very start of our journey together, Beirut suffered a huge explosion at the main docks of their city. 218 people died with thousands injured. Following this, our partner schools had to deal with many hardships, from food and power shortages to devalued currency. At the same time, both of our countries are going through the COVID-19 pandemic. This was not the most ideal time to start a new friendship, but in a way, it brought us closer together. 
We started the project by making a video together, along with another school in Melillo, Spain. This was our first project with our partner schools, and despite the distance, difference in culture and issues of language, we were able to make a fantastic video about plastic pollution. We found common interests, such as TikTok, that brought us closer together while making the project easy and fun. We were also able to involve the Lebanese pupils in our school to help build bridges. Our video was entered into the Young Reporters for the Environment competition and won the International Collaboration category. Later in the year, we organised a joint climate action week. During this time, the plan was to teach exactly the same lessons linked to the UN Sustainable Development Goals in both Wrexham and Beirut. The Lebanese pupils made videos teaching us how to speak Arabic, demonstrating how to cook their traditional foods, and they even created lesson plans educating us on their culture and religions. Meanwhile, in Wales, we created videos helping our new friends to learn Kamraig, and to educate them on some of our traditional food and practices. For that entire week, our whole school focused on these lessons from Lebanon, further helping us build even deeper connections to our new partners. This continuing relationship has enabled us to learn about the importance of sharing ideas with different cultures. It has challenged the ideas of what we thought life was like in Lebanon based on what we had seen in the media. We developed a new understanding of their culture and one day hoped to meet with the pupils from the schools in Beirut or visit Lebanon to taste the food in reality and not our versions of their recipes. We hope that they have had the same learning journey. This program has truly inspired a long-lasting friendship with our Lebanese partners. And now, we will pass you to a video from our partnering schools in Lebanon. Hello everyone, my name is Sirin from Lebanon and from Ghbayli Second Mixed School. We participated with the UK school over the past year about the climate change activities with a project on the plastic damage on several levels in our life, including the global warming. We shared with the YesGo Chloe Doc students information about Lebanon in terms of plastic damage to its climate. We also shared with you a PowerPoint that talks about this issue. We also provide a community-specific newsletter that talks about the harms of the plastic. It was an amazing activity. We also presented a video in which we shared some of the basics of our Arabic language, such as letters, numbers, and colors with our partner school. In addition to a cooking videos and some recipes of our traditional food. It is true that we provide you with information, but we benefit from a lot of information from you as well. We learned from new information of the damage of plastic that affects you, the climate of your country as well, and how to deal with the plastic pollution by several ways. I hope to do more cooperation. We were very happy with this cooperation. Thank you and good luck from Lebanon. Working with a UK partner school, especially young people from Wrexham, have taught us a lot. Doing the climate change activities with the UK have given us so much benefits like educating us more about the environment and climate change, teaching us to start helping our environment even by raising awareness to our families and friends. These activities have nurtured us a lot to take care of the environment and protect our Mother Earth. The symbol of Lebanon is the cedar tree. In our work together, we have learned of areas of Lebanon that have been affected by deforestation to the extent that it is destroying local lives. With thoughts of togetherness and love for nature, groups of Lebanese women uh, mixed with refugees from Syria to sing and dance and play games and create bombs. But those bombs are not there to create harm and destruction. They're filled with cedar trees uh, and cedar seeds which are spread around to create life and hope. The story has reflections in the Connecting Classroom project that you've just heard about. In the middle of the pandemic and a terrible tragedy, these seeds of hope, a new friendship was born. A friendship between different peoples with different backgrounds and different religions. A friendship uh, where seeds were sown, the roots took hold and the friendship grew. The teaching staff in both Lebanon and Welsh schools overcame so many hurdles to enable students in both countries to have a fulfilling and worthwhile project. 
We spent time learning each other's language, learning each other's customs, and trying to build a, pro a productive and constructive relationship. The teaching staff and uh, senior leaders both met via Zoom, uh, and imaginative and creative ideas came from that. Once we had built a solid foundation, our pupils got involved, and especially our EAL pupils, English as an additional language, some of whom had lived in the Lebanon. This integration into the task allowed the pupils to have a newfound confidence in school. For many pupils, climate change was the litter they see in their streets. An international partnership allowed us to broaden, our, uh, broaden their horizons and expand their knowledge into different parts of climate change. Our EcoAction Task Force was no longer a very small project in Wrexham, but part of a larger jigsaw. Finally, ongoing international partnerships allow pupils, many of whom have never traveled abroad, to build relationships, extend their friendships, and uh, boost their communication skills, both locally and globally. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the contributors and thank you to you as well, Neil, so much for sharing all of this. Uh, and to the young people, I heard that they were up at 4 a.m. this morning uh, to get uh, to be able to be here with us uh, at the exhibition. Uh, so thank you so much for all their effort and the amazing things they did. I mean, the Joint Climate Action Week, uh, the videos that they created, and I loved how they said, you know, it's all about sharing ideas uh, with different cultures and coming together in that sense.